prime example of what I mean down there you could see the river so we've come up here to another section and he's looking at the river and that's fine down here as we go down you'll see there's some white railings on the right hand side as the river comes under the road in two or three places um, in the form of little streams that join the main river so come over baby. So here's a prime example of what I mean, yeah? Come over folks, that's good boy. Come on, up you go. Come on, get up, come over. So that's got some white railings there and uh, a green bit of foliage. <laughs> well, <he laughs> in Harry's head, that shouldn't be like that. So that's a prime example of what I mean. So he does everything you can put on him to do and this is the last bit that we've got to get sorted. Now there's no point in shouting and screaming and smacking him and telling him not to be so silly because to him it's not silly is it? He don't know what it is and if he don't know what it is and he doesn't have, although he's got 90% of his confidence in himself is there if he had 100% confidence there, he'd stop still, you know, he'd still stop and have a look. Come over here, baby, come over here. No, he wouldn't come over there, you see this signage here on the road? He would walk across that, or walk, or, you know, even a, like a very short time ago. He'd be hesitant, you know, of, of walking on that, he'd do it now. So there, where we come past them, them railings, and there's a bit of uh, greenery poking out a big... Uh, great big like a rhubarb leaf sticking out you know and he don't like that that don't look right so that shouldn't be like that in, in Harry's eyes <laughs> so there's no point in getting cross with him or smacking him or saying come on don't be so silly because he's not silly to him until he can work out and that's all right so that's where he lacks that little bit of his own self-confidence and that's what I'm talking about stuff on this side you could have a narrow lane a narrow lane and he would be all right with stuff it could be just as close but it would be on his offside and he'd cope with it a lot lot better now you say me have you had his eyes checked it's not to do with his with his you know his eyes are all right as much as we can check them um it's, it's not a case of that it's you get often get that with horses you know it will be something so what could we say what's the reason for it that's an open field you, you wouldn't be able to put your finger maybe I would in some cases you'd start relating it to a certain thing you know so I've seen for instance um, this is a prime example this is a very very good example I forgot about this um, I'll see this someone said to me if the horse will, when it comes out comes up a row of stables, you know, the woman had about 10 stables in her place, stalls, you know, and it come up, it wouldn't come out. It'd go out that end of the building, didn't care at all, it'd go out that end of the building. This was out in um, Florida when I was out there. And uh, I noticed that all her tools, here's a nice one, see a tractor coming up here, yeah? So what I'm gonna do, just gonna move him over a bit. Come over, darling, baby. Come over, baby boy. So we can see it dead on coming at him, right? Big old tyres flying round. But there's a toot on it, like. Nothing at all. Now, how can that possibly be that he don't care about that tractor? Get that soppy bit of leaf sticking through there on the white railings that he's just not uh, not happy with you know funny thanks still my baby boy yeah so getting back to what I was saying about this, this when I was down in Florida so I noticed that this lady 
um, yeah, she had a couple of staff as well and all her tools, shovels, she had a big rake um, for raking up the, you know, the yard and it, um, big posh place and um, I figured out it was more, more luck than judgment I suppose, I thought I went to walk him down there, he didn't want to come past them tools and they thought it was the stable and that there used to be a stallion in there and there was a smell in there that he couldn't cope with and like that and then they thought it was something else, something else but it was the tools well then on, on talking to them about six weeks prior maybe two months I can't remember now he'd stood on the rake as he was coming out one of the girls said oh he stood on the rake the other day he walked right into the, the tools so I don't understand it. Well, that's the reason he don't want to do it now because the rake come up, meet him straight on the side of the head. See what I mean? So, you know, like, so there was a thing that, what's it, so what we done, we got the rake. Sure, as soon as you picked that rake up, moved it towards him, he started backing off. So eventually what we was able to do was, you know, we only took a couple of days and we, we got it so that we could have the rake resting on him stand in front of him and in the end of the day you could rest it on his forehead leave it stand there and he also stand there and accept it put it on his neck around his ears around his head in general like that and uh, then what what I'd done just to get him over it I put a little bit of molasses so it was all right we got that far yeah that was a lovely one there so very quiet and all of a sudden a big lorry comes on so so what I'd done just to finish the job off so he's already accepted the broom uh, the rake rather laying up the side of his head laying down his body laying right all the way around him we kept resting it against him all the way around him talked to him and like that and eventually accepted it then what we done the only thing he didn't do was investigate it as I would have liked him to so I called their top lip their hand yeah so what I've done, I put a little bit of molasses on it, tiny little, mere little wipe of a molasses, so it smells, doesn't it? Well, he started to smell it like that down, and then she's after he'd already accepted it. There's no point in doing it as a bribe or even as a reward, really. It was just done from the point of view so that you could get him to touch it. So when he touched it, then what he'd done, he, he flicked it with his top lip and knocked it over off his head then he you know he more or less play with it well once that it was achieved he was there and he was perfectly happy with you know i never bothered again he walked out the stables though it you know it didn't matter it didn't exist so you know just when something when you work it out walk up baby boy come on he's a good boy walk on go on babe So he's got this look, he's always looking to his near side. Now, what do we do in a case like that? Well, we keep him going, don't we, obviously. You know, keep him going, let him look at that side. Don't let him, you know, if I don't want him to trot, I don't want him to trot. So I want him to look up. So this is someone's lost their hat and they look, put it on that post, so he's got to have a look at it. <laughs> he's got his best to go there. But I want him to investigate. That's exactly what I want him to do. Oh, my baby boy. Up you go. Hello, mate. All right. Oh, my boy. Up you go. Good luck. Come over there, darling. So here's a nice little thing. Little baby in a push chair. That's it. And she's coming all over towards that. That's lovely. I'm obviously... In a situation like that, you can't even come over over the top of a baby, can you? It'd be a silly thing to do, wouldn't it? Um, come on, darling. But he's like, you'd think he was checking these cars out, whether he's going to buy one or not, wouldn't you? You know, he's coming along this road. Um, but yeah, there you go. So that's what you've got to do. And it takes a lot of patience, a lot of time. And, you know, if you start, you know, pushing him on or doing anything you know, got too heavy handed, no good, you never get anywhere, all they do is take a step back. 
So what we're opening him is doing now, right this minute, he's using his own courage. See here, look. There's lines on the road there. Look how close he's coming to this motor car. So much so I've got to pull him the other way, yeah? A little bit. Obviously, I can't let him come too close because I've got the width of the car, haven't I, obviously? But he's pretty close to these motor cars now. And that's good. So I've stopped here purposely because I want this car to come back at him that's coming out of these parking spaces. This is very rare that you get a town like this where you can park into the curb like this but this is an old town that um, used to have a lot of uh, like sales, you know, farmers sell of cattle, etc., sheep especially, down the middle of the road, and consequently made the road that much wider. You know, these old buildings you can see, it was built like this many, many years ago. I've seen pictures of it, uh, carts, you know, farm carts all the way down. So he's walking along there now. I'm trying to keep my hands off him as much, hands off his mouth as much as possible. So he'll gain his confidence by coming over his shelf. Now all I will do is I will suggest, so look now, see, he's picking up information all the time. Ears, eyes, ears, eyes, all the time. The more he does that, the more he'll accept stuff on his near side. Yeah, come over baby boy. So here for instance, we've got these cones. And I will be able to bring him in here now. Come over. Go on, babe, up you go. Go on, up you go. Good boy, that's it. That's it. Have a look at these girls, see? That's it, lovely. There's a good baby boy. Oh, see there, you have some old red cones, a big flower. Um, Come over, darling. Big flower, raised flower bed there. Um, and yet he's walking along the back of here now quite happily, isn't he? And these little bits of, you know, cuts in the road, like little divots in the road, where it's holding water. All these things are brilliant. But you've got to have the patience, and I suppose, without being... Um, say without being big headed um, it's not about that it's, it's waving this microphone going around here. so so here look for instance there's a drain hole can you see come over my baby boy yellow sign there can you see yellow and black that's not his thing at all but getting better I can't get him right over because if you look down here where my wheel is, I can only get him just about there before we mount the pavement, but he's walking over that. Can you also hear the tink of his shoe on top of the drain hole cover, yeah? Go on then, my baby, on you go. There's a good boy. So, I'm real pleased with that. You know, I mean, seriously pleased. Very, very happy with him. Come over, darling baby. Come over, darling baby. Yes, you are. Now, that there was that bollard. See that black bollard? They've not been in long. They put them in. I think what they do, I think they've got to light the other side and it lights up the, the uh, pathway. So I'm really proud of this little fella, you know, because I can't ask him, I can't ask him, why don't you like stuff on the near side? What's your problem? If you look back on old films, you'll see him, you know, jump right across the road. Something you didn't like, and it wouldn't necessarily have to be anything that we would think that would cause him to be, to act so, you know, well, dangerously, it would be dangerous, you know, obviously if he jumps across the road, He's facing oncoming traffic, isn't he? So, 
Got to see dear little chap like that, he's as good as gold. Nice little fella. Right over here, look. So here we are, there's the motor car. Obviously we know we're home, you can see the old A there, look. <laughs> Come on then. So what I'm going to just show you now. Come round, baby. Come round, top down, baby. Come on, babe, up we go. Get up, good. So, see, that's. I've not hit him, have I? I've just asked him to go up into that trailer. Now, that's to be. That's him, that's him doing it. He don't like loading in a trailer. He's not that keen of it. Because um, he's not done that much of it. He certainly ain't done much with us, only been in twice. Walk up. Come on. Come on up we go, bud. You see, I think that's lovely. Bit of do that for me. Um, there you are. He's up as, as can be, isn't he? Ready? So it's only them near side things to do, and then he's ready to go home. Dirty Harry. <laughs> 